Hey everyone, it's Marco here, back once again from the My Color Screen channel and just letting you guys know that we are back. Yes, that's right, Thema is now back on the Google Play Store, so in case you didn't know, you can now go install it or reinstall it, but yeah. Other than that, I just want to bring you guys today a brand new lock screen tutorial that's going to make your Android look a whole lot better. So, let us begin. Great everyone, so like I said today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to set up an amazing looking Android lock screen but don't worry it does come with a complimentary home screen as well. So let's just check it out, I'm going to unlock it right here and it is titled Minimal by the author Otaro MB and I'm guessing he was trying to say either luck or truck or buck minimal, I'm not too sure but hey it looks fantastic and I really enjoy it. I mean it's perfect for all the minimal loves out there that just want a clean looking screen. You've got your time and your date there, that's all that you need. As well as a little music widget here which I really enjoy that if you say just tap to play, what it will start doing is start playing your music and it gives you a bit more information out there. It slides out, you've got your change track as well as your pause button that when selecting pause, obviously I've just got the sound muted, it will then just pause the track and bring it back to normal. And last but not least, you've got your awesome little unlock button here that when selected will bring you up into your very similar looking but still minimal perfection of your Android home screen. So a little bit more information there, it's got your notifications there, it's got where you are currently and of course you can bring up your little app drawer just by selecting like we weren't supposed to see that. So if you'd like to know how to set up this Android lock screen, then let us begin with today's video tutorial. Great, so before we begin, just letting you know what apps and resources that you'll be needing in order to complete this very setup. Great, so starting with the apps that you'll be needing, let's just see for our personalization apps. So starting off, we need Media Utilities, it's free and it's needed for the music to start playing. Zupa Widget Pro, in order to allow you to import custom templates, you can't go with the free version because that doesn't allow you to do that. But that's just all the widgets that you see on the lock screen and the home screen. Of course, Widget Locker is that's the lock screen app and it is highly recommended. It's probably the best lock screen app out there. And of course, a good file explorer. We always recommend ES File Explorer for the simple fact that it's free and extremely easy to use. And last but not least, a third party launcher. I always recommend Thema because it is now available on the Play Store in case you didn't know. But you're always welcome to use Nova, Apex, SS Launcher, whatever your preferred launcher is, as long as it can add in widgets like this. So once you have those down, you want to check in the link in the description below. It comes with that zip file that you want to download either onto your computer or directly onto your phone and then extract it using various file extraction software. So I've just copied it in here. It's that M underscore F folder. And this is everything that you need basically. Very short and sweet. First thing you want to do is to select all your Zupa widgets. So you can just hold on one and select them all. You can select your little more button here or just copy them however else you want. You want to say copy to in your main SD card directory. You want to look for the Zupa widget folder. You want to look for that templates folder and then finally you just want to paste them all here just like that very quick and simple. So you've done your Zupa widgets templates down. You can leave that wallpaper where it is. But the one thing that you just want to not forget is the media utilities setup and all you have to do is go into your options either at the top or it'll just be at the bottom. Go into your settings right now and just make sure that all of these are enabled for application integration. The most important obviously being Zupa. And then always just have those bottom ones enabled as well. For example, attempt direct control, make cover arts available, use alternative data collection and send song progress. Those are always good to have enabled no matter what you're setting up. So once you have that all down, that's all your background setup complete. As now we can move on to setting up this lock screen. Great, so starting with this lock screen setup, we're going to open up Widget Locker. As you can see, I've already got it all set up. So all you want to do right now is to hold down on whatever widget you have or have on the screen and drag them either into the bin or you can hold down on them and just select remove whatever is your preferred method. And I'm just going to do it like that and you want to completely blank lock screen as now we want to select this little white icon here in the top right hand side and that will bring you up into your Widget Locker settings right here. Great, so starting off, make sure that Widget Locker is on, otherwise, of course, it'll never work. And you want to go right into your look and feel, making sure that alternative wallpaper is enabled so that you can now select your own custom wallpaper. You want to go into your gallery or your preferred gallery app and look for that wallpaper that you've now just newly copied onto your phone. It's that, remember that 1M underscore F or whatever else that you have called it. 
you can now just select it it is quite large so we just want to resize it a bit make sure that it touches the top and the bottom and just get in that little ferris wheel on the right hand side to select ok and it will then set it for you going into your background tint you can tint it however you want so i think more or less mm, i think that looks pretty good so that's just your preferred setup going a bit down now you want to go into your layout definitely make sure that automatically determine grid size is off so that you can bump it up to a 12 by 12 and make sure that if your anchor is chilling in the middle to drag it down and then just select save like that so a 12 by 12 is recommended just because it's very large large and very easy just to resize all the widgets at hand next up you can choose whatever you want for your unlock animation doesn't really matter but the most important here is to hide that notification bar that's that one at the top just so well you've got your own minimal notifications you don't need that one popping up there now finally you want to go into your advanced settings and make sure that widget overlap is enabled just so in case there is one or two widgets that need to overlap then that's done and done so you want to go into your home helper now this is always recommended for people that when they press their menu button it unlocks their phone not ideal so you just want to make sure that those three are enabled which is home helper component home helper block home and then finally block home in other apps so that is your widget locker setup complete we can just go back now everything should be on a clean blank slate as we are now ready to add in our custom Zupa widgets alrighty so let's add in some Zupa widgets we're gonna hold down on the lock screen right now select widgets we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom select Zupa widget pro now we're going to start adding the ones at the top. I'm um, just going to do one to show you how to do it. We can select any size as we're going to be resizing them anyway. I'm going to be doing the music one because it's a bit confusing. As you might see that it started off with just saying play music, but then it pops up being quite wide. So I just made it take up the entire width of the screen. Select the hand now and this will bring up your super configuration. Now all you have to do is jump into your SD card because that's where all your saved Zupa widget templates will be and as you can see I've got quite a collection here building up but you want to select the MF player 1x6 it says press to play and that's because that's in its paused state so it's going to leave it there for now we're going to go back and let's just let it see it do its thing you can always just test it out by selecting press to play see if it does anything there it is see it takes up the entire width so you can just select pause once again and then what it'll just do is hopefully go back to normal. Now we can add in the one beneath this exactly the same steps. Go into Super Widget Pro. Say a 2x2 might have to just resize that as always. So for the one beneath it, you'll be selecting the clock, the 1x4. The author does give you a bit of tip of what size to make it. But it's entirely up to you as you can now just resize it like this. And it does exactly the same thing. Great, the last Zupa widget, the one at the bottom, the unlock, I guess you could call it widget. You want to do the same thing, it is also a Zupa widget, so you just want to make sure to resize it more or less the shape that it's going to be. So, I'm pretty bad at that, so I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. Go into my SD card, for some reason it wasn't at the bottom, it just likes to hide at the top here. There it is, it is a 2x2. Two two. Now, what thing I'm going to do right now before I go back is to go into my layout as what the author has done is to set the unlock little icon there the one that's the rich text zero if I select it shows you which one it is he set it to open up Nova Launcher however if you don't use Nova Launcher it makes things a little bit more difficult so all you'd want to do now is to select this option swipe to your app list and then plain and simple just choose your preferred launcher so I'm just gonna go with Thema right now so when that's selected it'll open up Thema it is a little bit of a shortcut I guess you could call it it pretty much cuts out the method of using a custom slider putting it over this area and using a transparent icon it is a bit weird I'm not too sure if it does exactly the same thing I'm not too sure if widget lock will be running in the background but you guys can let me find out and see which method is pretty much the easiest to use so I've set up this little lock to open up Thema so we're gonna see what it looks like now but you can just double check that everything's been resized according to plan and then last thing that you want to do within your lock screen is say for example I want to press my music to play and I tap over there it'll bring up my Zupa widget configuration toolbox here which I don't really want so what I want to do select is widget on tap action it's a little bit complicated but if you just select disabled what this means is that when you just select press to play it'll still play your music let's just test it out 
um, wait for it, give it a, like a second or two. But what that means is that it'll still play, you can say select pause, it'll then pause the music for you. But if you tap around here, nothing will happen, which is exactly what you want. You want to do it to that Zupa widget as well, as well as the one at the bottom. Pretty much just leaving the little unlock button, just so you never open up your Zupa widgets and then do some funky configuration. So, other than that, that's pretty much your entire setup complete. I mean, your home screen is exactly the same setup. You just have to set up your grid size. An 8x6 was recommended. I used an 8x6 and it turned out pretty well, even for Thema. And it turned out pretty well, so yeah, it's, I'm not going to show you how to set up this entire launcher as it's basically just repeating, holding down on the home screen, choosing widgets, choosing a Zupa widget, configuring the layouts to your specific needs, but that's pretty much it. So but that is pretty much it, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below, and I'll get to them as soon as possible. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel. If you haven't already, it'll really mean a lot to us. Also, don't forget to check out our various social communities. We're on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, and even Instagram, bringing you guys all the latest and greatest theming news. And last but not least, don't forget to check out My Color Screen's official one-click theming launcher. This is the one that I've been using right here. All you have to do is, is literally just one-click, find a theme that you want, you click apply and then it'll do everything for you and within seconds you can have a brand new looking amazing theme before your very eyes. So definitely want to go check it out. It is now available back on the Play Store for free so don't miss out. And last but not least it's Marco here from the My Color Screen channel and as always don't stop customizing. <laughs>